want you to understand this. Man is designed for relationship. He was not created to live in isolation. But that is not a license to enter into a relationship without adequate preparation. You have to be prepared. Even though God says it is not good for the man to be alone, he didn't give him a wife immediately. He needed to test his capacity, his mental capacity, his preparation, right? God tested him mentally to discern what is good for him. So the man was well equipped to know what is good for him. That's why he didn't look at the goat and say, this is my wife. That's why he didn't look at serpent and say, this is my wife. That's why he didn't look at the chimpanzee and say, this one resembles. Do you know there are people, they are looking for who to marry. Everyone they meet on the street looks like it. You see this one today, ah, you think that, oh, this one looks like it. You see the other person today, say, oh, this one looks like it. You are confused because you are not in this journey with God together. If you are in this journey together, God is going to test your res- is going to test your your capacity to discern what is good for you. Now, I want you to understand you, that you you must be prepared spiritually, mentally, materially, physically, and financially to fail well in marriage. When we mean pre- this kind of preparation, it doesn't mean that you you must fill your bank account before you know that you're financially prepared. It doesn't mean that you have to have everything to know that you are materially prepared. But your capacity, your mental capacity to be able to manage resources, to be able to manage things, to be able to organize, to be able to order things, is what makes you mature. Okay, if you can't take offense... You are not mentally mature for marriage. If you can't, if someone cannot hurt you, if you can't take a hurt, you are not mature for marriage. If you cannot look at stuff that is annoying and, and offensive and ignore it, if you must pick up every quarrel, if you must pick up every argument, if you, you are not qualified for marriage, right? So you have to be mentally prepared. That's why God tested this man called Adam. He tested him. You have to be prepared to know that this is what I'm going into. How prepared are you? How ready are you? Physically speaking, how ready are you? How prepared? How matured are you? When somebody talks, you are, you are arguing with somebody. The person is running his or her mouth. Then you slap. You start fighting. Somebody is just talking. That words, those words, they don't stick on your skin, but because of it, you're fighting. Those words, they don't, they don't change your color, the color of your skin, but because of it, you're fighting. Those words, they don't change your identity, but because of it, you're fighting. Why? Because you're not matured. And listen, if you can't endure these things, now that you are not yet married, when you get married, you see more of it. So you have to be prepared, right? You have to be prepared. Number two, number two way to have a good marriage is maturity will exonerate you from grief. I want you to write this down. Maturity will exonerate you from grief. Immature men are the, are the ones who name goats, snakes, or scorpions as their spouses. Because you must know that there are goats in human clothing. There are snakes and scorpions in human clothing. But if you are not matured, you will name them as your spouse. Maybe because you are because of the color of the skin or because of the toy that the person is driving or because of the, the size of his bank account, you will choose a goat or snake or scorpion and, and say it's your spouse. Genesis 26, 
Verse 34, the Bible says, When Esau was 40 years old, he married Judith, daughter of Beeri, the Hittite, and also Basemat, daughter of Elon, the Hittite. They were a source of grief to Isaac and Rebekah. He was 40 years old. I mean, I, uh, Esau was 40 years old. But look at the way he behaved, meaning that age is not what determines uh, uh, maturity. There are people who are 40 years old boys, 40 years old, but he's not matured enough to discern what is good for him. He chose wives that became a grief to his parents. He chose wives that became a source of torment to his parents because he was not matured enough to discern what he needed, what he wanted. That's why I said, you don't know yourself, so you can't even determine what you need because you don't know yourself. It is God who made you that knows what is suitable for you. God himself said, I, I am going to make a helper suitable for him because he knows Adam. How do you think that you will choose for yourself what is suitable for yourself when you don't even know yourself? Some people don't even know where they are going to in life. They don't have vision. They don't have dreams. They don't have desire. They don't have purpose. And they just want to marry. Then you go choose someone to do something, to do what with you? How can you choose somebody to accompany you in a journey you don't even know where you're going to? You are going in a particular, you are going south, you go to someone whose destination is the north. How do you think you are going to, you're going to be happy in that marriage or in that journey, right? So, you see, you need to be matured. It's this maturity that will exonerate you from grief, exonerate you from torment. 